At the Thought Collective, we love thinking up of new ways to help our communities become braver and kinder. So I had this really strange idea one day where what if we got a group of random strangers to have dinner together, put aside their weapons and talk about stuff that normally people fight over. This is a segment from our Regardless of Language dinner where we talk about this question. So you know when I just came to Singapore, um, my teacher told me this, uh, right now you have a very ordinary job. You are not here to come to study, but also bring out a competition and bring out standards among all the students. Then I was like, wow, okay, that's something I'm so excited and I want to contribute to this as well. Um, so when I heard about people saying that PRC is still jobs uh, and took away all the staff from uh, the locals, I, I did get a bit confused because in my belief system, I always thought that oh, we are here to really how to build the economy together and to attract more MNCs and create more, create more jobs. That's always what I thought was. Yeah. yeah but it, you were, in a sense, you're caught in the middle. You understand? Your grades, your grades are high, you know, and the rest of the Singaporeans who aren't that good at maths are going to look at you and think, Sabo la you. you know, I mean, as in, you know, you're kind of like making things tougher for them. One thing is that deep in the most Singaporeans, the mindset is this idea of competition. We're going to have to compete for every darn thing. You know, it's a dog eat dog world. One thing is that Singapore is a business hub. It's a business hub, man. Everyone is busy. We're all uptight. We're all struggling the red race. There's no time for kindness. Like, you know, people just don't want to be kind. I, want to, I need to do my stuff, I need to get my stuff done. I wake up in the morning, my whole day is packed. I need to complete this, I need to complete that. So people generally are very uptight. We tend to leave a lot of like, things like kindness out of our mind when we are so focused on doing one thing. Like, I need to get home, don't take my cap. Not I'll murder you, you know? <laughs> it's kind of thing, it's kind of mentality. Um, as a foreigners, I think we just need to uh, put ourselves into Singaporean shoes and uh, communicate to them. And in that way, we will understand them better, and also they will understand us. Really glad you think that way. Like really, really glad. That's how personally I started to treat foreigners much nicer. Like put, my, put myself in their shoes, you know, as well as educating yourself. When I was very young, okay, like I think 16, 17, I've <laughs> shouted at all sorts of people before. But, but like I said, it wasn't a nationality thing. But just because I was pissed off on that day, I need to let it out. I don't, you can be a Singaporean, you can be a whatever nationality, but I'll look at you and then I'll use it to, like, if, uh, let's say you bump onto me and I see you're of this nationality or what, I'll just use something to hurt you, you get what I mean? Mm. But even, it was quite intentional. So when I was younger, um, the most hurtful comments I heard from uh, my fellow friends are really, told me go back to your country, go back to China. Um, I would just feel like so hurtful about it because I didn't feel accepted and there was so much struggle going through this. Uh, but however, after hearing and having this conversation today, uh, I realised um, the Singaporeans are not really angry towards us. Uh, it's more towards the whole issue and towards the bigger, bigger system outside there. If Singaporeans are so xenophobic, um, then how about the... A few years back, there was this um, Thai girl who lost her legs in an accident at Amokyo MRT station. Mm -hmm. And the Singaporeans were donated, I think, about $250,000. <laughs> Another person also brought out that um, recently that Sim Lim Oh yeah, the, the, the yes. Vietnamese tourist. Yes, right? the Vietnamese guy who got cheated. Mm -hmm. and, and Singaporeans just wanted to buy him an iPhone 6. You know, if we were xenophobic, we would probably say that well, he deserved uh, what he got. You know, go back to Vietnam or whatever. There's this case about this um, ITE uh, student mm. who went around trying to beat up foreign, foreign workers. And nobody I know, even the, amongst the so-called xenophobic group of us, you know, nobody supported that. Yeah. We don't like that. If you want to come for our public DMZ dinners, click here to find out how. <laughs>